Most of you are probably thinking, Brandon, why did you go to see the bounty hunter? I mean, the trailer was horrible, and 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 you got panned by the critics. I mean, just destroyed. And you're a man, and you went to see the bounty hunter. Well, let me explain. Well, I don't love Jennifer Aniston. I'm not exactly part of her hate club, which is very large. Um, I mean, yeah, of course, I mean, beyond Friends, I don't think she was ever that great of an actress. But, I mean, she's had her moments. Um, Gerard Butler, on the other hand, I think is a very capable actor, and he can be very good. He's just not very good with picking scripts. And this is just a perfect, perfect example of that, because I know he likes to play, like, you know, an edgy, badass kind of character, which he gets his moments in this movie, or probably the best parts of this movie, when he gets to just break out. But, I mean... 300, I don't think that's an amazing movie like a lot of people, like, it's good, but, I mean, he very, he gets to show off his, some of his acting abilities, but since then, he really hasn't with choosing, choosing movies like Gamer, but I, I, I still, that's one of the reasons I want to see this movie, because I do think he is an, a capable actor if he has not expended most of his talents yet. The trailer provided some laughs, but unfortunately, those were the same big setups for jokes in the movie, like it happens a lot in movies, except for the jokes that were shown in the trailer that were kind of funny, completely tanked in the movie, because they, everybody heard it so much, and it just wasn't funny, and even in the situations were set up differently, and it takes the root of a lot of romantic comedies, um, especially, you know, uh, ones that had the twist, and I'm not talking about the twist about, ooh, he's arresting his ex-wife, <gasps> oh my god! I'm talking about, like, they add a dark crime kind of twist to it, which you know if you've seen the trailer, and they actually take it a whole other spin with it, and it really just sits so cliche and drudging and boring, and just some scenes, while some scenes are very good, um, well-directed, I'm, I'm surprised I'm saying that some scenes were very well-directed, but at other times... And just horrible, and it just drags on, and it's just stupid, and it's, there's not a lot of laughs in this movie, which is one of its biggest flaws. It advertises itself as a movie where you're not going to stop laughing, but there's just moments of awkward silences in this movie. I mean, if you've seen the trailer, you know the scene where she's in the trunk, and she's trying to get out, and she's fake crying? I mean, Jennifer Aniston, I mean, how bad of an actress can she be that she can't even fake cry well? I mean, I know that she was trying to make it over the top, but it was just... I, honestly, if it wasn't for Gerard Butler just saving some of her comedic fails in this movie, I honestly would not have stayed through it. If you, but unfortunately, that doesn't help the quality of the film, because the first, I'll even give it 20 minutes, I really enjoyed I was like, oh, what are the critics talking about? You know, I might actually really disagree with them on this one, and it's got like a 9%, so it has to be like something out there for me really not to agree with them. And I, I really like the first 20 minutes. I mean, it's still the cliche setup, but I mean, I just really like Gerard Butler's character. I mean, he wasn't always the most likable of guys, but it's still, I mean, he he was funny and he, he did okay. And I just really liked it up until the point where they actually get into the actual story. And I called it, I called it in the first five minutes of the movie. And I'm not gonna give anything away, but it, it, I, it's, it's so predictable. I go easy on a lot of romantic comedies because they do get attacked for their cliché-ness, but I feel like this movie was painfully cliché and painfully unoriginal. Now, I don't mind cliché when it's just an enjoyable ride and you don't really care about the ending, it's just about the ride through it. It's fun. Um, for such movies recently, like The Proposal, I mean, it does not compete with some romantic comedies like 500 Days of Summer, which is freaking awesome. It, it really falls down there, and this movie, it I mean, it doesn't have that. It doesn't have something where it's enjoyable from beginning to end, regardless if you can call every point at it, because some of the story twists are just dumb and repetitive, and there's so many scenes where you just want them to get on with it, and there really are scenes where I contemplated leaving. Christine Baranski, for the couple scenes she's in, is actually really funny. Um... Even though a little overacted at times, like a lot of people do. I mean, the dialogue in this movie is so horribly written. But they take it and they kind of overact it with a lot of things and it just kind of gets annoying. But Jeff Garland, um, I, I don't love him, but he's his normal enjoyable self. I mean, yeah, he does add some a couple funny parts to this movie that it was lacking. And there's just so many... God, like, I, there's some movies where... 
I, you know, if I'm your subscriber of me that I really go easy on a lot of cliched movies, but this one, it just horribly cliched. And while it did have its redeeming factors with their love interest and their chemistry was really off at times, but I mean, I think a couple of the speeches that they give about each other and about romance are pretty, uh, while repetitive, are somewhat heartfelt, and I don't want to be like a sap for that, but I think that is like a point for that movie if, for how low it gets at times. It seems like this is, the, they watched like a romantic comedy and a cop drama then threw them together and they didn't really mix all that well. It's directed by Andy Tennant who's done movie well. I I really enjoyed like Hitch uh, with Will yeah Will Smith and Kevin James. I thought that was a very enjoyable movie. A very um, you know out there romantic comedy and then he's done something like Fool's Gold which I absolutely hated. So the bounty hunter in consensus while there are enjoyable parts after the first 20 minutes which are very well done it tanks and it tanks hard while most of it is just filled otherwise with a lot of stupid pain gags and things of that nature which we see in almost every movie who doesn't have a witty joke to make that's really all it's left you see it in the trailer when she's tasering him that's what this movie is left to at a lot of points and they really just lose their fun after a while so all in all I would not recommend you guys see this um, you know if it's on TV um, you know there's bits and parts you could watch so you could just turn it off when it gets bad so anyway 5 out of 10 uh, there's probably better things I have to see this week I'm getting kind of sick of people who text and call me during my review because I'll tell people like BRB or be right back I'm going to do my review and the and they'll instantly, as soon as I start my first sentence of review, I'll get buzzes and calls from people who try to get my review. Because people plot ways to get my review. Like, my friends do that. And it's annoying because I have to come back and i got to edit out my video every time I start to say something because there'll be buzzes going on. I mean, I thought about putting it on silent, which is probably what I'll do. Message from Piston McFarland. Don't tell them how you cried when they rekindled their love or how you came out of the closet. This is, this is what I'm talking about. Hey Brandon, what did you think of the bounty hunter? I hated it. Are you serious? I'm dead serious.